As you plan your fertilizer program for your greenhouse or outdoor crops, you'll want to know the difference between water-soluble and granular slow-release fertilizers. There are advantages and disadvantages to each. Water-soluble fertilizer, or liquid fertilizer, is available in crystal form to be dissolved in water or in liquid form to be diluted in water. Some of the significant advantages of using liquid fertilizer include easy application and can be paired with liquid insecticide or fungicide plant protectors, uniform application across crops with the same nutrient content in every drop of liquid, useful for starter and mid-season fertilizing, offer quickly available nutrients to the plants. The major disadvantages of using liquid fertilizer include difficult to store and more likely to become volatile over time, more expensive than granular fertilizers, requires specific equipment, which is a major investment of money and time for greenhouses who aren't already equipped with a constant liquid feed system, may require more applications as water-soluble fertilizer can leach out of sandy soil or containers. Slow-release fertilizer is a dry fertilizer packed in granules. These granules have a coating specially designed to cause each granule to release its nutrients over a two to three month period. While it is often more expensive than regular granular fertilizer, the ability to feed only once per season makes up for the extra cost. Some of the significant advantages of using slow release fertilizer include, requires fewer feedings, often only one prior to planting, easy to store without any loss of efficacy, Pre-plant application goes hand-in-hand hand with tilling. Using slow-release granular fertilizer allows for custom blending to improve nutrient content and efficacy for crops and does not require any additional equipment. The major disadvantages of using slow-release fertilizer include less mobile encapsulated nutrients, especially phosphorus, may not reach plant roots, High salt content can burn roots or repel them from the nutrient content. While liquid fertilizer contains consistent nutrient levels throughout, the available nutrient content varies from granule to granule in slow-release granular fertilizer. Which fertilizer you choose for your commercial greenhouse will depend on the tools you have, the money you want to invest, the time you have to invest, and how targeted you need your fertilizer program to be. If your focus is on time efficiency and you already have a constant liquid feed system in place, water-soluble fertilizer is your obvious choice. But if you aren't equipped with the proper tools and aren't ready to invest in a constant liquid feed system, you might consider using a slow-release granular fertilizer with foliar applications of liquid fertilizer if needed. You may even choose to keep both for use on different plants or at different times. Think through the costs and benefits for your greenhouse and plants before making your decision.